and voila, this looks absolutely beautiful. Oh man, this looks so much better than the original MX Master that I have now. No offense to you, little guy, but look how clean this looks. Hey, Wear Noticers, Shane here, and welcome to another video on the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel. If you're new here, definitely take a moment to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all my other awesome tech videos about things like smartphones, smartwatches, tech accessories, speakers, headphones, tablets, computers, and really just so much more. Anyway, folks, in this video, we're going to be unboxing this guy right here, the MX Master 3 for Mac. So this is the latest and greatest mouse from Logitech, but it's not exactly new. It actually came out in 2019, and yes, I'm unboxing it now in 2021. I want to use it with my M1 MacBook Pro because I actually really love the original MX Master right here, which has been my go-to mouse since I got it back in 2017. So I figured, well, I have this brand new Mac. MacBook Pro right here, I might as well also get a new mouse for it. So I'm definitely excited to check out the MX Master 3 for Mac. So without further ado, let's get it out of the box. So folks, here we are up close and personal with this mouse's box. As you can see, we've got a picture of it. We've got the Logitech logo. It says it works with iPad as well, even though it is advertised as for Mac. So that is good news. Over here on the back of the box, it also talks some more about it, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be a very great mouse because once again I do love the original that I use with my Mac so anyway let's just open this box up so we can just go right ahead and peel this little sticker off right here and then we should be able to pop the top open let's see can we yes we can there we go and we can just slide the inside of the box out and beautiful MX Logitech nothing else in here we can put this to the side and then let's pop this little box within a box open here as well and voila lot this looks absolutely beautiful oh man this looks so much better than the original mx master that i have now no offense to you little guy but look how clean this looks i also by the way love this space gray color it's going to look absolutely beautiful with my m1 macbook pro so let's just peel this little sticker off the bottom right here and we can put this down and see what else is in the box so right here we've got another box within a box within a box let's see what this is it looks like it is the charging cable so it comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable, which is great because then you can plug this mouse right into your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, whatever, and charge it up when it needs to be recharged. Also got some paperwork in here as well. And yeah, now that the box is empty, guys, let's get this guy paired with my MacBook Pro. So first things first, now I'm over here in Bluetooth settings, ready to get this connected on my M1 MacBook Pro right here. Now we can flip the MX Master 3 for Mac over and we can flip this switch to turn it on. As you can see, it's actually got three separate devices it can be paired to at once and you can easily switch between them by pressing this button. So right now we're going to be pairing my MacBook to one right here. So we can come over and as you can see MX Master 3 for Mac, we can click on connect and then boom, let's see, is it connected? As you can see I'm actually controlling my MacBook already with the MX Master 3 so it's already connected. We can just ignore this and now next I'm going to go open up Logitech Options which as you can see right here is basically Logitech's customization software for their devices like their MX Master mice. So right here I have my original MX Master and now we have the MX Master 3. So I like to set up my MX Master very specifically. So over here on these buttons I like to set these to volume up and volume down. So we can just do that real quick. So where is volume up and volume down? Man this scrolling feels interesting. It's almost like it feels totally different than on the original. It feels so much more like luxurious. It's, it's very very interesting. So volume up right there and then volume down. Okay, let's see volume down. Where are you? Okay, we can go do that and then uh, this button right there horizontal scroll That's what I like it to be this button right here the gesture button No, I like that to go to launch pad to show me all my different apps So let's find launch pad here That is and we can just go do that and then this one the wheel mode shift I don't like it on wheel mode shift I prefer it to be on mission control so I can look at all my windows I have open and then the middle button right here. I like this to be the gesture button that's what I like. And then I like to set it to use zoom and rotate. So that way I can click it 
and then zoom in by moving the mouse forward or zoom out by moving it back. So now this should be the exact same settings that I have on my original MX Master. This is the way I like it because I love using that mouse for editing in Final Cut Pro, for example. It makes it so much easier and I feel very productive. And also when doing schoolwork and really anything where I wanna feel productive and super fast on my Mac. I love that mouse, so I got a feeling I'm really gonna love this one as well. But now anyway, let's test that out to make sure we got the button set up correctly. So right here, this button, should, this should go to Launchpad now, and boom, it does just that. This button right here, this should go to Mission Control now, and boom, it does just that. This button right here should turn up the volume, boom. This button, turn down the volume, boom. And yeah, and if we press the scroll reel right here, actually we need to get into an app that we can zoom to show that. Okay, now we are on the Apple website, and now if we press the scroll reel right here and move forward, we zoom in. And then if we move backwards, we zoom out, boom. So I got this all set up the way I like it. And yeah. But one thing I forgot to do is actually reverse the scrolling direction. So by moving my finger this way, it's moving the page down. I actually prefer it to be the opposite, just being a Mac user. That's what I have it set on my other MX Master. So let me reverse the scrolling real quick. So now back in Logitech options, we can come over here and click on point and scroll. And then where is it? So scroll direction, standard. No, natural, baby, that's what I like. Also, while we're over here, another thing I wanna do is turn off Smart Shift. Basically, that switches between the two different types of scrolling that the scroll wheel right here does. So uh, right now, it is set to free spin, which basically doesn't give you any sort of tactile feedback. It just lets you spin it all crazy like that, and look how fast that's going. But that's not the way I like it. I like it on Ratchet right here, which doesn't feel at all as um, ratchet or as tactile as it did on the original MX Master. Again, and it feels like sort of luxurious and softer on this device right here. So yeah, now I have that set the way I like it. And now folks, now that I've got the MX Master 3 for Mac all set up, we can just go around Final Cut Pro with it. Something I like to do with this type of mouse quite a bit. And I will say first impression as I go around using this horizontal scroll wheel right here, I will say it definitely feels different than the um, MX Master, the original one that I'm used to. It's probably gonna take some getting used to. It almost feels like it is up higher, but I think that's just because these um, sort of side buttons right here, they're below the horizontal scroll wheel now, whereas on the original one, as you can see, those two buttons are next to it. But another thing I'd like to do in this video is just put it side by side with my original MX Master that I've been using for what, like four years? years now and see how different they look. So as you can see, they have a very similar design right here. But of course, some of the differences that you can see from a head up view like this is that the original had more of a pointed front right here um, in the middle of the two buttons, the left clicker and right clicker, whereas on the uh, new version, the MX Master 3, it is more pointy towards the pointer finger or the left click right here, your standard click. And then also you will notice they have that same button right here that I set to go to mission control. We've also got the um, scroll wheels right here and I will again emphasize that this one definitely looks better with how shiny it is. And also this one's pretty old. I've been scrolling on it for quite a few years. Over here on the side of the mouse, you will see I've already pointed out this difference, but that the um, side buttons right here are in different positions. Definitely feels weird coming from the old MX Master right here, but hopefully I get used to it. We've also got this horizontal scroll wheel that definitely looks much bigger on the MX Master 3 for Mac than on the original MX Master. And then over here, if we come over to the back of these two mice, you'll see that they are very similar on the bottom. Um, the only major difference is that the original has this connect button right there and the new one does not. And if we come over here to the front of both of these devices, you will see that the original charges with micro USB, which I kind of really don't like, but I will say also, I really do enjoy this space gray color going on right here instead of the bronze like on the original. That's one of the big reasons why I wanted to upgrade to get a mouse that actually matches my technology because my MacBook Pro right here is space gray. My iPad Pro is space gray. So I wanted more of that space gray in my life. I needed that mouse to match. I mean, seriously guys, look how good this space gray matches together. Gray on the bottom, some black on the top, and then same thing with the MacBook Pro, gray, black, and then I've also got it in a black case right here. So yeah, I'm excited I finally got this mouse, guys. But now, anyway folks, with that, that'll be all for this Wear Notice video, unboxing the MX Master 3 mouse for Mac in 2021. So definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this mouse. Do you have an MX Master for yourself? And also, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel for more awesome technology videos just like this one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing.
Bye.